On the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. And it is time now for an interview segment presented by the good people at Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest, Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Now, we've all heard some negative things about AI, everything from deep fake voices to uh, possibly being used against uh, writers and other creative types. But could generative AI actually have some help, uh, be some help in the clinical world? We're talking this morning with Transformational Life Coach, who has her philosophy of coaching rooted in empathy, compassion, and authenticity, Michelle Christopher, joining us on Indiana in the Morning. Michelle, it's good to talk to you. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. Got to ask you, because Todd is always asking, uh, I I think we're calling Minnesota today. How are things in Minnesota this morning? Um, I'm based out of Texas right now, but I hear it in Minnesota. It's stormy. Yeah, that's my home. That's my home state. Okay. All right. So Texas, I'm assuming things in Texas are just as rosy this morning then? They are beautiful. Triple digits again. Uh, Once again. Oh, boy. Stay safe on that one. Okay, but let's go ahead and talk about this. A generative AI, I mean, it's caught a lot of negative flack in the press, uh, obviously because of people thinking about it, using it for various uh, reasons. But could it actually be of some help in the mental health field? So I would say yes, as long as you use it safely. So I'm a former technology executive, and I have 25 years in technology, and I have to start off with a warning about any time you put your personal data online, Uh you just don't know when or where or how it's going to be used. It's no longer yours. So I would just caution against that. But I think when it comes to, like, general tips and tricks or in looking for resources, I think that AI is a great place to go. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for something specific, something personalized, because we live multifaceted, highly complex lives, you're going to need to have that personal touch, that someone who can, you know, understand your background, your beliefs, your personal dynamics. Right. So definitely the person, definitely a personal one-on-one interaction you would prefer rather than an AI bot who could, while they could learn a little bit, it could still, there's still the possibility that things could come out, uh, to come out in a negative way. Absolutely. There are ethical and even potential legal concerns. And if you read some of the disclaimers prior to, you know, opening or putting in, you know, your information, if you want to ask, say, Jet GPT a question, the first thing that comes up is a warning that states, you know, they sometimes generate incorrect, misleading, and potentially biased or offensive content. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's important to work with somebody that you know, knows knows the regulation, who um, you know can read those things because Chat GPT or AI is only as good as the data coming in. Right. Also, speaking of the data coming in, I mean, it's it would be two different things, I would think, for either a therapist to hear a turn of phrase that might sound violent uh, compared to a Chat GPT or an AI hearing that same turn of phrase and taking it in a different direction. Absolutely. You know, there's definitely those nonverbal and those verbal things that AI cannot pick up on where a uh, life coach, when I'm working with my clients and I personalize their plan for them based off of, you know, their, their personal dynamics, I can look at, I can observe their behavior, I can observe the things that they're saying, and I can make the modifications. And in therapy, you know, they can look for troubled spots where AI may not pick up on that. It just doesn't have the discernment that humans do. But what you have said also is the fact that AI, in a broad sense, maybe in a nonspecific sense, if, if this uh, uh, can actually be of some use, could it also be of use for the uh, therapist themselves, maybe quick access to information? It is, but I would also caution to make sure that you check your resources because AI even discloses itself that the information could potentially be incorrect because it is pulling data from everywhere. But absolutely, I use AI all of the time in my personal life. Um, I don't put my personal information out there, right, but yeah. um, I do use it all the time. Yeah, personal information. Safely. Yeah, personal information. 
uh, of course, the, the when, with uh, with identity thieves everywhere, it's probably going to be a matter of time before we hear uh, somebody had re- received the information that they stole from a chat AI uh, a chatbot program or a AI program than the, that is now being used for malicious purposes, whether it be financial or otherwise. Absolutely. Just the more that, the more of your life that you put out there, the more AI would be able to model that. We're talking with life coach Michelle Christopher this morning here on Indiana in the Morning about if AI could be a good way to get mental health treatment. And our life coach is saying it just depends on what you put in and, of course, how much you trust it. But she also says that a face-to-face relationship with a therapist or life coach is probably the better way to go in this manner. So, um, obviously, the position your the positions that many people have as therapists and life coaches, I assume they would probably still be safe many, many years into the future, even if uh, we see a, a growth in the use of AI in this case. Absolutely. Again, I do think that there is a place for AI when it comes to general tips and tricks or resources, but I caution people with putting their personal information, sensitive information, out there. All right. Uh, where, uh, now, let's talk about uh, the services that you provide, obviously. Um, let's talk about those. Uh, how can people get a hold of you if they want to learn more about you? Um, you can find me at michellechristophercoaching.com, and that's Michelle with one L, christophercoaching.com. So michellechristophercoaching.com. Got it. And we thank, but that's going to, I'm afraid we're just about out of time for this segment, but we thank you very much for joining us here on Indiana in the morning. All the best to you in Texas this morning. And we hope that things uh, cool off a little bit, but also we hope that things are, are, are okay for you. Thanks again. All right. Thank you for having me. Thanks again. That is Michelle Christopher joining us this morning on Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank. Our interviews presented by Marcus and Mac voted the best personal injury law firm in the Best of Indiana County contest, Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people.